Uh, I think I was because I really did not want that run to score. So that was pretty sick for him to uh, throw him out there. I was pretty fired up. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool to watch. What, what did that do for you, getting through that situation um, and, and maybe not letting things spiral out of control in a spot like that? I mean, it's just, I mean, when something like that happens to end the inning, it's just, I mean, it just feels like a, big weight off your shoulders, you know, going to the dugout. So you get to come back out with a clean inning, nobody on, you know, no nobody out, fresh start. You know, it's uh it was huge, you know, um, you know, special to watch. Oh yeah, I mean I think it was like ninety seven miles an hour or something like that, which I can't even do that on my own trying to throw it hard, so it's pretty impressive. Um but yeah, I mean, it was just a huge spot for that, you know. Um, you know, you give up a fly ball in that situation, you're kind of like, oh, you know, running back to the play, going to back it up in case anything happens. But to watch it happen, watch the throw come in, watch Willie make the tag, you know, it was it was really cool to watch, and I was fired up. You've been pretty steady out there in guards for extended stretch. You're not, how are you feeling out there, and kind of where your confidence at? I'm feeling really good. There was a point there I kind of lost uh, the feel from my four seam, and I was trying to find it, but. Um, you know, I felt like I was able to make adjustments. So I was going to my sinker when the four seam wasn't there some, at some points tonight. Threw some good change-ups. Um, felt good with my slider and my curveball. Threw a curveball tonight. Um, yeah, just kind of trying to build off of each start and keep moving forward. Kind of building off of that, what do you kind of see out of, like, the next step in your progression? What, what do you want to do as you keep kind of going forward? Um, just, you know, keep honing in on the command of the four seam, both sides of the plate when I want it. Um, I feel like that once I, when I'm able to do that, all of my pitches play off of the four seam, whether it's the sinker, the change up, slider, curve ball, you know, when I'm putting the four seam on both sides of the plate, up and down, you know, it just kind of opens up my whole entire repertoire. Uh, I haven't really looked at it like that. I'm just kind of going out there and, you know, doing what I'm told and, you know, just taking the ball and, you know, getting people out. That's all I'm really trying to do. Following Keegan, is any part of your preparation picking his brain to see what worked for him? Um, oh, yeah. I mean, as a pitching staff, we, we pick each other's brains when we're facing different hitters, different lineups and whatnot. Um, yeah, me and Keegan sit right next to each other. We talk all the time, whether it's, you know, baseball stuff, just life stuff. But, yeah, we're as pitchers, we're always talking, especially, like, about hitters and different game situations and whatnot. Are you happier when Ole Miss won the World Series or last year when Mississippi State won? I was happier when Mississippi State won because the uh, catcher went to my high school, Logan Tanner. He's a, he's a pretty good catcher. Um but he went to George County High School as well from the same town. He's supposed to be getting drafted pretty high, so I'm excited to watch him play. But it was really awesome watching him win a World Series.